good morning students good morning to all today our commas period okay already i told you know so i only will take the economics and commas also okay already i have introduced myself so there is no need to introducing about me now this class also as per our group accountancy group the commas is one of the major subject okay the commas is one of the major subject accountancy with commas only is the major subject okay so there is no more difference between the study of commas and the economics okay because the each subject also interlinked with each other so we can say without commas there is no economic activity so without economic activities there is no need of commercial activity have you understand what i am coming to say because the economic activity only will be creating the commercial activity okay so without commercial activity there is no need of economic activity if you want to understand so the economics refers to the production so the commercial activity refers to the distributor and consumption okay as we studied in economics so we have studied so the production are uh, some of the major economic problems what to produce how to produce to whom produce or how much we have to produce okay this is the basic economic problems okay but okay all the basic problems removed after the removal removal of all the basic problems some of the product is produced and some amount and everything is also decided okay now what's the problem is coming after the production of the commodity mean so the produced commodity so the produced commodity must have reached the hands of the consumer okay so the production is created from the wants of the consumer okay because of the wants of the consumer only so the need of production was arised now the product was produced now what's the problem now what task we have to take so the produced commodity have to reach in the hands of the consumer okay so after the production how the produced commodity will going to reach in the hands of the consumer is studied by commas okay so in this area what are the channel of distribution or how to distribute the produced commodity and in which way the product has to reach in the hands of the consumer and what are the intermediates will come into the commercial activity everything you will study in the commas okay and not only that for the commercial activity what are the agents are there and what are the sub commercial activities will come into the channel of distributor everything we will study in the commas only so we can understand the economics and the commas is interlinked machine okay the movement of one activity only will be forced and moved to another activity okay so without economic activity so the commercial activity also will be decrease and the commercial activity is reduced mean so the economic activities also will be reduced okay and in this commas we have more chapters okay when we are comparing to the economics so commas only have more chapters but one benefit is there you could easily understand after understanding the economics because so many of the subject will come in the both subject economics and commas okay and in commas so many of the subject already you have you may have studied in your previous class from the lower class also 
okay so here also you have no need to taking the more effort you have no need to going to the separate tuition center okay if you are studying and if you are listen keenly you could easily understand and in the classroom itself you can study and complete the portions okay and you also could more marks so i think hereafter no need of more introduction about the commerce okay because in commerce more subject is there so it's enough after over the you open so we will go the introduction now go we will go directly to the subject okay okay students in our first unit the fundamentals of business okay if you want to study about the business so we must know about the fundamentals of business okay so in this first unit the first chapter is historical background of commerce in the subcontinent the historical background so there is no need to study the more historical background because we have to study how was the commercial activity was there in this ancient tamil nadu and ancient india and the time of homo sapiens okay have you any idea when the commercial activity was arrested it can it can be can anyone say so after formed the human beings or after increased the civilizations the commercial activity was arrested okay because after formed the human beings the human wants the next second itself the human wants may be arrested okay so we can say the commerce has been in practice since time immemorial it is a part of the human life whether it is a king or a common man so the commercial activity is need right even in the kingdom time also the commercial activity was happened and not only that so even if the system of the commerce is very much needed to all over the society right okay so after over the reopen after over the reopen of the school we will go to the some introduction it is also no need so it will be like a history only if you have the book you can understand when you are reading okay now we will go to the main subject okay in our subject first we can say about the barter system have you remember the barter system you may have studied in your lower class also okay simply you can understand barter system is goods were exchanged for goods goods are exchanged for goods is called as a barter system okay but now we are not exchanging the goods only for the goods because we need more money and more profit and more earnings so now after the economic activity and the commercial activity the barter system was vanished and now the economic the economic system only is existing okay now we can say about the barter system okay so when the barter system was arrested so when there was no invention of money okay or before invention of money only the barter system was existing okay because in beginning or the uh, beginning of the civilizations so all the peoples didn't have the money but they were need of consuming goods okay but all the people will never have the all goods okay suppose if you are considering the market the vegetable market some of the people will be cultivate the rice some people may be cultivated the wheat and some of the people may cultivated the other vegetables okay but all the people need to consume all the goods how it was happen how it was possible 
because only it was possible of father system okay so before the invention of money so the people was exchanged their goods and consumed the goods only by the benefit of barter system okay next the barter system have to work you know how the barter system have to work if the barter system have to work it will need certain conditions okay so what are the conditions is need to following the barter system first one condition is each party to border must have surplus stock for the trade when you are going to the market for selling some of the goods when will you go you are cultivating some of the products okay may be the vegetable okay but when will you go to the market to sell your cultivated commodity when you have the surplus stocks okay per month if you need 50 kilo rice and you have the 100 kilo rice only you will go to the market right so that is means surplus stocks okay those who all want to involved in this barter system that people must have surplus stocks then only the barter system will be worked okay otherwise you can't involved in this barter system okay next both buyers and sellers should require in the goods each other disparately that mean double coincidence of wants double coincidence of wants mean so the both people are there so the two people so we can consider that one people is buyer one people is seller okay so when you exchanged the rice and you need wheat okay so when two people must be need of some different commodities okay when you have the wheat and another one of the man is need of the rice only you could come under the barter system okay when you change it with the rice you will get the wheat right so that mean is called double coincidence of wants the wants may be there for the two peoples those who are involved in this barter system next condition is buyer and seller should meet personally to effect the exchange okay but number t so we thought meet the producer and the distributor and some of the chain of uh, distributions the buyer will consuming any one of the commodities what they want in the corner of the world right but in this barter system require the personal effect at the personal meet to affect the exchange okay now the commercial activity is improved so much but in that time when there was the border system so there, there was no any improvement so if we needed to exchange the commodities directly to the market to a person so the personal meet is need okay so the buyer and seller should meet personally to effect the exchange these three condition is there only so the border system will be working as effectively right okay good okay next the constraints in border system constraints mean some of the limitations or some of the obstacles in border system so even there was a three good conditions so the necessary condition we have studied you know even if there is necessary conditions some of the constraints will be arise or some of the limitations some of the hurdles will be arised okay so what are the constraints will be there mean lack of double coincidence of wants already we have studied you know the second find so the double double coincidence of wants the both buyers and sellers should require the goods each other desperately okay so unless two person who have surplus have the demand for the goods possessed by each other okay 
so the double the lack of double coincidence of ones or absence of double coincidence of ones is one of the constraints in our quarter system okay already as i said so the two peoples are need some of the different type of the goods so some you can take for the example the person a and the person b okay the a people having the surplus amount of the ground nut okay and b is possessing surplus level of rice okay in this case a should be in need of the rice okay if he, if he have the surplus amount of the rice only so he can need to exchange their rice to the wheat otherwise so the people b will not ready to exchange the goods with the a he will go to the another one persons okay if i said a and b you can can uh, confuse because i said so the two people are there so the one people is need the wheat another one of the people is need to rice okay so the people the a or b must be need of goods the another people having their goods so if this coincidence of wants does not exist order system cannot take place okay so the lack of double coincidence of wants is one of the constraints or one of the limitations in this order systems okay even the lack of double coincidence or the absence of co double coincidence also the constraints in this order system okay next constraint is non existence of common measure of value okay common measure of value now if you want to purchase any of the commodities so the commodities must have some of the value okay by providing the money we can get all the commodities what we want because all the produced commodities must have some of the value money value okay so the money value only will be determined the value of commodity okay but on the time of border system there was no measure of common value there is no common measure of value now the common measure of value is money okay suppose if you want to purchase any of the pen or rice or whatever commodities every commodities also have one of the separate measure of value okay but that time there was no money value no no common measure of value okay because there was no invention of money okay but the, how the common measure of value will be creating the constraint to the barter system means we can understand by one example now the same example we can take okay the people a the person a and the person b okay the person a have more wheat and the person b has more rice but the price of wheat is 20 rupees but the price of rice is 10 rupees okay now the person b those who has the rice will not ready to exchange their goods for the person a he has the wheat because he has more value for the wheat okay normally and even on the border system how the value was measured mean on the basis of the demand okay and the basis of the availability of commodities okay suppose in our nations or in this area one commodity is easily availability means so their demand is will be very low right suppose if any of the commodities the demand for the commodity is very high mean normally their value is maybe higher right so like that so the demand the base of the demand only that time so the people would understood the value of the commodity but there was no common measure of value okay so without common measure of value so the constant sum on the border system was failure to exchange the commodity from one person to another one of the persons because the demand for the commodities may be higher those who has the limited okay so another one of the persons may be 
have surplus stock but the value of the demand for the commodities may be very low okay so simply if you want to understand the there was no common method of value okay there was no money okay and another one of the problem was lack of direct contact between producer and the consumer okay <clears throat> now also there is no direct contact between the producer and the consumer but even though we can understand or we have the chance to come to know about the full details about the consumers or the producers right now if you want to purchase any of the commodities in this pack we can know all the details about the product and the producer and their industries also okay but so without having any of the worry so we can purchase because there is so many of the court and there is so many of the organization is there if any problem is arised after using any of the commodities okay but that time no facilities for this all okay but in this time if the lack of direct contact between the producer and the consumer so the people will not purchase any the commodity as a directive okay because some of the people will cultivate any of the rice or wheat or any one of the vegetables by using unwanted fertility or unwanted yeah unwanted fertility okay and not only that that commodity the people didn't have the knowledge to acceptable of the commodities from one place to another one of the place okay so all the people all the people who has involved in this potter system really want to meet the producer as directly okay but if it is fail so the potter system also come to fail right next one is lack of surplus stock already we have studied one of the conditions for the potter system to go smooth continues for the potter system is more surplus of stock okay but in any way if you know of the consumer or you know of the persons have the limited stock the people will not going to meet the people to consume uh, exchange the goods because till you could see in our market for example if you are going to the market you could see one of the event where we will go in this market mean which seller has more commodity for the only he will go okay suppose when you are going to the market you could see you can see more number of sellers okay but you will find which seller has more surplus more commodity okay to him only he will go okay so the same problem also was there in this powder system okay so some of the people will cultivate and produce some little amount of the little amount only okay but when he has the little amount some other party will not going to exchange the goods okay so the lack of surplus stock also one of the problem in powder system okay the four point only is the constraints of the powder systems okay now we will study simply about the invention of money okay so what has happened in this powder system time without having the common measure of value so we know so the powder system so in the before the invention of money so the exchange of good only may be happened okay but because of that so many of the problem was arisen right what are the problem was arisen mean the produced commodity will need some of the transport facilities and some of the market facilities and some of the time facilities 
okay because when the time market time is just nine, morning 9 to 10 means the seller must come to the market within the right place okay and suppose if he has more surplus stock they had to carry all the commodities in the market okay then so many of the problems was there okay today we will see about the we have studied about the constants of the hindrance of commerce first one is lack of double coincidence of wants next one is non-existence of common measure third one is lack of direct contact between producer and consumer and last one is lack of surplus stock okay okay student today is enough so tomorrow advance we will go to the next topic thank you